Next game on the list, we have Tampa Bay, according to Bavada, minus four at the Detroit Lions. Tampa Bay, uh, one of the best scoring offenses in the league, 29.1 points per game. On the road, they even score 30.6, so they score more on the road even, than they even do at home. Uh, Detroit at home, meanwhile, gives up 28.5 points per game. Good enough for second worst. They'd be 31st in the league. No good. Um, I think Tampa Bay is just going to outscore whatever uh, David Bluff or Blau or whatever, however you want to pronounce it, tomato, tomato. Uh, but they're going to outscore anything Detroit does. Um, but uh, I do think Detroit will get some points, but I think Tampa Bay is a pretty safe one there. Uh, four for fantasy football purposes, I have Jameis Winston as a start. I have Ronald Jones as a start. Now, uh, Mike Evans being out, that really sucks for them. So Chris Godwin is a yes, a definite yes. Uh, a slam dunk, really. Uh, Mike Evans, I know he's, I think he's listed as doubtful. He's not going to play. Uh, mark my words, he's not going to play. So what does that mean? Uh, Scotty Miller is still banged up. Um, is it Rashad Perriman? Is it somebody else? The other projection I have at the wide receiver, if Mike Will Evans was playing, was a 20. So the opportunity will be there. It really stinks for Mike Evans' owners because this is a great week. And last week was a great week for him, too, in terms of projection. But uh, it's going to be a tough one for him. Tight end, um, you know, honestly, I don't have great projections on him. But based on the injury, O.J. Howard might actually get more productivity and more volume this week because Tampa Bay's thinning out at wide receiver. So who else are they going to throw to? Now, Brake gets a lot of targets, too. But I do think it would be an O.J. Howard day. Uh, for Detroit. Um, I'm going to stay away from quarterback there just because, you know, these young quarterbacks, third string quarterbacks are too volatile. I don't want them. That said, I do think that Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay will get opportunities. I think they're both starts. Logan Thomas, if you're really desperate, um, you can pick him up, but I would start Ian Thomas over uh, Logan Thomas. So, um, stay away from them, right? Um, I would anyway, at least uh, at least Logan. 